Here's your Forbes Daily Briefing for Friday, October 18th. Today on Forbes, Amazon is betting big on small nuclear reactors to power its data centers. Amazon is betting big on nuclear power to help drive a massive data center expansion that includes more than $52 billion across just three U.S. states. Amazon and Dominion Energy, the $48 billion market cap energy behemoth, announced Wednesday that they've entered into an agreement to explore the development of small modular reactors, a type of advanced nuclear reactor less than 10% the size of a traditional nuclear plant in Virginia. Amazon simultaneously announced an agreement to fund the development and deployment of small modular reactors in Washington state with the public power agency Energy Northwest. Amazon signed a separate agreement with X-Energy, a developer of small modular reactors, also known as SMRs, that is building one as part of the partnership with Energy Northwest. The startup is currently building its first advanced reactor with chemical giant Dow in Seadrift, Texas. As part of its agreement with X Energy, Amazon is anchoring a $500 million investment in the startup, which was founded by billionaire serial entrepreneur Cam Gaffarian in 2009, through its Climate Pledge Fund. Through this deal, Amazon and X Energy plan to bring more than 5 gigawatts of new power projects online across the United States by 2039, enough to power more than one mid-sized city, in an effort to meet the ballooning power needs of artificial intelligence. Amazon, as well as other major data center providers like Microsoft and Google, are looking to these small modular reactors to serve their rapidly growing power needs. SMRs can be built in less time and at lower cost than traditional nuclear power plants. Plus, they're carbon-free, key to the tech giant's broad commitments to reduce emissions. And unlike solar or wind power, they're reliable and can operate 24 hours a day, a key advantage for data centers and factories. The U.S. Department of Energy has said that U.S. nuclear capacity has the potential to triple from 100 gigawatts in 2024 to 300 gigawatts by 2050 to meet the demands of both decarbonization and nonstop power. Matt Garman, CEO of Amazon's cloud computing company Amazon Web Services, or AWS, told Forbes, quote, Nuclear is a great option for how we scale the world's energy needs. We need more energy brought to the grid. He added that SMRs are the, quote, most promising new technology to do that. Garmin, who started at Amazon as a summer intern in 2005 and became AWS's third CEO in June, said that he expected nuclear to be an important piece of how the company continued to expand its data centers to meet demand, while also reaching its goal of net zero across its operations by 2040. He declined to give targets for how much of AWS's power needs would be supplied by nuclear, but said he hoped it would be a, quote, material source of power generation by 2040. Garmin said, quote, we view it as a cost-effective way to scale up energy. And he added, quote, it depends how fast the technology evolves and how rapidly we can scale building new reactors. But while nuclear power does not release greenhouse gases, it requires managing radioactive waste. And despite lots of talk in recent months about the development of SMRs, None have opened in the United States to date, leaving unanswered questions about their expense and feasibility. Doug Vine, director of energy analysis at the Center for Climate and Energy Solutions, said that the costs, quote, are a bit of a moving target now. Garmin said that while the technology is new, it has advanced dramatically in recent years, and that new advanced nuclear reactors are far safer than the old plants of the 1950s and 60s. It's been 45 years since a nuclear reactor, Three Mile Island, near Middletown, Pennsylvania, melted down in what was the most serious accident in U.S. commercial nuclear plant operating history. Now, a different reactor at the Three Mile Island nuclear plant is slated to reopen in order to power Microsoft's data centers. For full coverage, check out Amy Feldman's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.